So what we got here is a Tecum out of a 6L80. Uh, we got a bunch of pressure switch switch codes in it. <clears throat> when we removed this thing to take a look at it, we found uh, the membrane on the switches is all torn on every one of the pillow switches. And it just happens, delamination or this membrane tears as a result. And this is one switch here, a pressure switch, and that's the seal. And if you see all these other ones, they're all torn as well. Um, very common problem to happen. I'm just going to pop the seal out. And then you can see that that membrane is also torn causing all kinds of erratic shift problems because that gets caught in the switch or fluid pressure doesn't happen as it should. I just broke that one. And we're going to use this kit made by SunX <coughs> to install these new seals. This kit comes with three different tools. One to get the membrane, the switch membrane, tucked in underneath. And then another one for loading up these seals in order to uh, get the lip back underneath in, in the Tecum. Okay, so I've got a switch membrane here. Um, this is a new one. Uh, comes in the kits, as you can see from the old ones. Um, they all separated. And look at, see how that's been catching. Oh, the edge is rough. So what we're going to do, because these are quite difficult to get in sometimes, I'm going to cut this seal and then slide it in so that one end is kind of just sticking out, if you can see it there. Oh, since I got it like that tucked in there, I can now take my tool and slip it in all the way around and push that membrane in there. Just like that. So that membrane's in there, I didn't tear it. Here's another one. Same technique, gonna bend it, slide it in as far as we can. You can kind of just push them in and try not to wrinkle them too much. Spin your tool all the way around to make sure it's not folded. Anywhere, right there. Tool should slide all the way around freely. I'll try and keep my hand out of the way. You see how the tool spins? And the tool spins around freely. So we got no raised edge. We'll load up a new seal. Same thing. Poke it all in there. Load it with a rod. Take a look at it. Looks pretty, pretty square. Put our tool down. Press and lift up. We got another membrane in there. And as you can see, check around the edges, and it's looking good. It's good. We can use our tool just to check that it's in all the way. Yep, that one looks good. So here's an old one. I'm going to lift the mat.
See this membranes all torn. Every, almost every single one of these is torn. Oh, let's not lose that. Just about lost this membrane inside. But there's one whole piece of it. Another one torn. So we gotta get the rest of it out because it's just sitting in there. This can be difficult sometimes. You don't really want to scar anything up. See it right there. Let's try and get under it and pull it out. That one has like got a perfect hole cut in it. So that's another one. Same thing. We'll bend our seal. Bend our seal and Slip it in. Oop, go away. In the tool around make sure there's no raised edges okay load up our tool again another seal I've seen these seals completely distorted as well uh, flattened or almost ruptured out onto the switch membrane we'll load it Seals loaded. Looks good. This tool makes short work of this for sure. Now I can uh, put it in. Push and lift. Oop. Just like that. Double check our Seals in all the way. Looks good. We got one more left. I'm just going to rotate this so we can get at it. This one is torn as well. So all those switch membranes were torn. And this transmission's out of a 2008 GMC. Sierra with a 6.2. So I would assume it's due to age. Here's another one. I'm not even going to touch this one. Look at that. Totally broken. So nothing plastic lasts forever. Another separated switch membrane. Now we'll try and get the old one out. Without scratching anything. Get it off to the side. Just enough so I can grip it. There you go. Look at that one. Perfect. Perfect Cheerio. Okay. We got our third and final, or fourth, sorry, and final seal, our switch membrane. We're going to bend it, push it in. These things will shoot out of there. So we gotta kind of watch it. I would, if you're gonna do this job, I'd order an extra kit. They're cheap enough. That way, when you shoot one across the room, 
you uh, don't gotta go look for it and wait another week for parts. That one's got a little bit. Here we go. So basically, just spinning this tool around. It's hard to see because my fingers are in the way, but spin it around, make sure it's not touching any or not uh, folded up in any way. I'll load up another seal. Same thing. Seals in. Just like that. We'll put her down gently. And you're kind of just pushing. Just like that. And our seal looks good in there. Double checking all these with using the tool kind of to manipulate them in a circle. Don't push too hard, you don't want to hit the switch membrane. And then just work the seals around a little bit. There. And that's what happens with age and membranes they will break, they will cause switch. Pressure codes, erotic shifts, shift flares, a whole whack of problems. Rather than buy a new Tecum, then it'd have to be programmed, you can service it.